What's up everybody, I'm rested back again on my way home making a video and today I'm going to talk about a question that I get quite a bit and that is always about how long did it take you to speak Japanese fluently and I think this is really a relative concept as opposed to something that you can concretely make an objective for. This is because what exactly defines fluency? Well, I've heard from some experts uh, as far as professors of language in college that the knowledge of 2,000 words in a certain language makes you fluent in that language. Now, the problem we have with Japanese is just because you might know 2,000 words doesn't necessarily mean you can write 2,000 words because that would be writing almost 2,000 kanji, right? Uh, now, some people do get to that point and for them, you know, gambarimashita desho, they really tried hard. But for me, unfortunately, I cannot say that I can write 2,000 kanji without any problem at all. I would be lucky if I could write maybe 100 kanji. Now, as for speaking, my speaking skills are far, far better than any of my writing or reading skills. And that's another concept, too, that you've got to take into consideration when talking about the Japanese language is, can you read it? Just because you can speak it and you can converse in it doesn't always mean you can read it, okay? So I think one of the biggest things why I never say I am fluent is because I'm very bad at reading and writing Japanese. Nonetheless, I feel I can hold my own, but at the same time when people ask me to make videos that teach the language, I don't really feel that I have the credentials to do as such. Number one, because I can't read or write it very well, but also number two, my channel is not about teaching Japanese. I also get the question sometimes from people that says, you say you speak Japanese in your videos, but I never hear you speak Japanese. I bet you don't even speak Japanese. And to those people, I say, もしそれはできない、黙ってください。Okay, until next time, I'm unrested. This is JFAC. I'll see you again.